so I am defining one folder here so here I want to write any gradle related things what first we need to have we need to prepare the gradle related file so what is the gradle related file earlier we are discussed cleanly about here so what is the file name here this is nothing but what build.gradle so what we need to do we need to prepare one file name called what save as so where is our location in the desktop i prepared what uh, gradle related task then you can define within this double quotes what is that build dot gradle so just i define the build dot gradle so just to save it that's all now it is going to prepare what gradle file here so just we can open this one and we can able to start writing of our code now so now so in this build.gradle what i did here is i collected some different <coughs> combinations here so that combinations we can go with elaborate so first we will go with what sample kind of whatever the task so first what i will do i will go with simple kind of task whatever we learned so far so here i will go with what sample task now what i am doing here first we are writing one task so task is nothing but here what time so in this or otherwise what i can do i can go with what some changes here welcome then here welcome task whatever we have here i want to go with first then i want to go with what last so next we have one more option is there you can able to describe this whatever the task related so what i give a told like there is a description is there or not so description kind of thing is also you can use here to give the information about your task so what i can do i can give the description so in this description what is that welcome related things so task to display message so something is there it's okay fine so now what we have the task inside that task what we have we given description and we given do first and we have the do last thing is there so just i will go with what save then now this whatever the task i want to execute so how like just you can go into this one already we configured the gradle related tool just to open the command prompt then give the name called what gradle then suppose first time whenever i am starting i don't know like what are the different kind of uh, task will, which is available there what i can do i can go with what listing the all the task what are the task which is already available so just i can give what gradle space task so whenever if i give the gradle space task what it is doing to do like it is a first time we are going to starting that now so it will going to take some time to configure this so what it is there so it is just collector the all the information and it is going to show some help and it is saying what some this is the default whatever the task whatever they configured so this is the things they are going to get displayed but where our task is not available so just you can give that what task iphone iphone all so i am going to get that all now you can see this welcome what we defined here we given the welcome and it is going to giving the description as what task to display message so this is what it is going to get display suppose you can remove this one in your code and if you run that one means it's okay so these are not kind of mandatory kind of thing it's okay but if you see now it is automatically why it is coming here now see this problem now see here if you see this task welcome it is available but it is not understanding like what that the task it will do so we need some kind of uh, comments that is going to mm, give some little bit information about your task means then you can able to use this task so that's why if you go with like if you are following with any good programming kind of principles means better to write all the task with some description means that is better to understand with what 
more kind of information so just i am giving this one now see here the task to display some message yes we can able to see this one now first is what we need to go with what uh, task then we need to run that task what is that welcome so what is that sorry we need to give what we need to give the gradle gradle and we need to give the task name what is that welcome so what is that welcome so now see here the first here if you see this one what is happening so first it is giving the task name and it is giving that do first so first that is the what is the like pre-processing this one and another one is what here post to processing so this information which is lastly executed or not now by saying that one like i am little bit get confusing why this kind of things will be happened so unnecessarily i don't want this whatever the information it is displaying by the gradle i want to suppress what i can do i can go with what quit mode now if you go with this quit mode if you see observed the same kind of output will be displayed displayed but the little bit whatever the thing here see here the task name welcome and this space and this build whatever the successful execution it is completely suppressed by this quit command so but whenever you are using this quit command you don't want anything like what are the things it is executed like it is see one action will and one task is executed and how much of time to execute this task this information and i want to know the task name whenever it is going to start executing this information i don't want in my like uh, in the console you can able to go for what suppressing this whatever the messages so this is what we can able to go use of this one now suppose just i will go with gradle now i am not giving anything task now see here what it is saying it is going to clearly explaining to you welcome to what welcome to the gradle and it is saying and it is going to giving a suggestions to you when you are going to start with writing of anything build file there you need to give either gra means you need to tell gradle or task name so first whatever we given the same manner otherwise you can go configure with what default task then automatically it will be executed but in your code there is no default related task then there is no default related task that's why it is unable to execute what code should be executed in the what in the console so it is clearly saying so you can go with what gra means gradle and give the task name or you have list of tasks is there you can run the list of tasks now what we can do means we can go with one more example of style of writing of what the same kind of whatever the gradle we can able to write now see here what we can do means we have another whatever the things is there or not just i will go with uh, this one now what i can do i will just go this one see we can go with a trial and error now what we did we created one more like one task welcome is there another task is called message now in this message task if you see this one what is going to do here first the message task containing what description means whenever i am starting writing my task at that time i just know about what my message means task to display welcome message means here to differentiate what i can do i can go with welcome message then here i will go with what message task to display simple message so i will write just like a simple message okay fine the next again after whatever completing of this task i want to go with what pre-processing and post-processing so pre-processing and post-processing kind of thing what we need to do we need to have some piece of whatever the blocks is there or not here so now already we completed this whatever the task now what i need to do i can go with one more kind of style is what this one like what we have here is we can go what this one what we did here first message dot do first and i am writing this piece of code means i am telling message dot means a task dot do first i have some piece of code yes execute and also what i am telling message dot do last execute this piece of code means i am trying to say yes what whenever pre-processing execute this code and after that we in the post processing you can execute this code but this whatever the code i can write in anywhere after completing my task then afterwards i realized i want to incorporate some kind of logic so you can able to add this kind of logic 
after completing your task also just we are giving description then we are going to adding the task now what i can do just i can save here and what i can do just i can play with what executing this task what is the task name here Ta gradle space msg so message okay now it is going to display or not so i don't want to go with this one like what uh, hyphen q yes it's fine for me yes now next what we have means we have one more option is there to go with this one or not so we have one more shorthand notation is also there that the shorthand notation is nothing but what how we can able to go with this one means now i will going to write some piece of code just run this one then we can able to observe that what is that change we have now see here it is a strange thing find your message by message task so whatever the code we written here that is going to executed or not now see here whatever you are going to write in the do last you can write in another form that is what here shorthand notation so you are telling this message we need to push that data into last do last related block so it will be executed so suppose if i remove this whatever the code here then i can able to save this then see that what is the difference here now see here find your message by the by message task means it is executing or not means we have number of, like we have the different kind of ways is there to go with what this one means you can able to go like this or you can able to and also here if you go with the writing of number of whatever the <coughs> do last related blocks also it will not going to take last one as a priority instead of that it is going in a appendable manner like what uh, like just now we seen information or not so what we can say now see here just i am going to including one more kind of here now just i am going to adding like number of times here but if you see here what will be happened just it is going with up and appending the same kind of thing whatever the to the do last related block only got the point or not so if you write n number of times also ultimately it will going to run when when in, when it is going to run it will going to collect all this whatever the do last related thing and accumulate and then it is going to run in a one shot so that is what the one more kind of beneficiary means like first time i don't know the complete clarity to write what in the last block so after i realized it means you can able to add whenever you require so automatically it will going to add to your do last related block so we can say this is also, this is also one of the best advantages when we are going to comes with what gradle kind of software okay so just now we can play with some kind of what uh, see uh, for meanwhile uh, okay what i can do means just i will remove this one then i will going to have to go with what some kind of task so earlier we discussed about dependency task so now we can able to have an opportunity now we have two tasks is there or not we can able to go with uh, what how to go with default task kind of behavior so what we can go with default kind of task means what is the syntax we have been already learned here so the syntax what we have learned here so de depend on okay so we can have the depend on so what we have here so what we can do means we need to first we need to identify that see here there is a semicolon which is going to termination is also not required in case of groovy so that is also one kind of advantage each and everything it will going to like as a single line so there is no nothing to require anything what semicolon also now see here dependency task we have two tasks welcome and one and welcome message is there now what here i am my requirement is whenever i want to start whenever i want to start with message it should be run with the task of time then it will be followed with message so what here so first it should be executed time then it will be should be executed with what message now we configure this one is there or not so we have different ways is there first way whatever we are following see there now what is our name what is our name oh, here task name message so gradle so first what i will do i will go with the check the task what are the task hyphen all so how many task is there so i want to know the task related uh what is this giving so we need to give hyphen hyphen na so that is what it is saying uh what it is uh,
task do last instead of that what it is doing okay so sometimes what happen means in the latest one they are going to remove this this, thing, this feature also so that shorthand notation so that's why it is going to giving this kind of errors so we can we can ignore that and we can see that what is the problem something time okay 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 so what oh sorry what we done we have we don't have any task name called time or not so we have to configure this one as a this one now what we have here now i am trying to tell the message task whenever it is going to start executed it is depend upon the welcome task so this is the welcome task then we can able to go here and check that this one so see here what is that two messages it is displaying see even though whatever we are going to configured in welcome first and message is the last also but it is showing here what uh, what is the execution order it is showing it is showing in an order first it is doing message and welcome see here the mess the order is not a matter because it is not going in execution order it is going it is just going to display that what are the tasks which is available in the co configuration file so this is what not our <coughs> what execution style so what uh, so gradle what is that that gradle ne tell me that what is the message what is the name task name message so okay so message so it is now now before that what i can do i will remove this one just i will show with one case here then i will move that one i want to run the two tasks simultaneously what i can do i can give gradle task 1 task 1 and task 2 now if see this one what is that first task it is executed message and another one is executed in the welcome because the order what we given here we given clearly message first you need to execute then it is followed with welcome that's why it is going to display like that okay so now what we require what is our requirement we need to go with what dependency factor so i am going with dependency factor now so see here this is what we are going to get from where now so first i will go with what message okay now see here here when you see in the command i given as a message should be executed but it is executing the welcome because of we are telling here message which is depend upon the welcome means first to go for a welcome then only go for what message here also you should be follow the same kind of thing what is that do first do last inside that task whatever you created that pre-processing and post-processing it is not matter for executing of the task inside that task what is the priority it will be decided automatically but this kind of whatever the task is going to execute it or not so now suppose what i did means again i given like this msg message now see here if i given two times also but it is going to giving only one time output because I already clearly explained that whenever if you give multiple times of repeated tasks also it will be going to execute at one time in the behavior so it will not going to execute at multiple times so that time automatically what will be happen means this will be going to useful in all the different kind of scenarios different task is configured also you can able to go now what I can do means I can go with what different now we have the some miscellaneous kind of thing i can able to go with configuration then we can able to do some kind of here now what i can do means i can go with what uh, writing some piece of steps now see here now this all the things i am going to get remove here then just i will go with one more kind of thing here r and d like i just changed something now see here a task which containing do last and do first so this is all whatever we so far whatever we discussed these are the normal things just for that i can give description also it will be useful follow the good kind of convention means it's okay now see here now description what i am giving here some description i will give task related related to a related to a okay it's okay no problem now see here i return do last and i return do first but if you see that outside of that i return some sop statements some statements wantedly 
now now see here here whenever i am going to run this task what is the task name called a here the first whatever the priority will be going to giving to the the statements it will be executed first it is not depend upon the life cycle it is first will be going to give the chance of the outside of the blocks then it will be going to follow with what life cycle so you can see here very clearly you can get this one see here see outside of that the outside of the statements whatever you writing inside that whatever the task means the given the priority it will be executed first then it will be followed with life cycle related task so you can write the task you can write some instructions to outside of the whatever the blocks also it will be going to get executed but the order will be going to get changed so this is what one more kind of thing what we have to discuss here so that is what the more priority what we given and also next what we have we want to run with the different like this is also we discussed some examples now here see what we can do here is we can go with one kind of another kind of whatever the some changes will be going to do here then we can able to understand that what here now see what i did here is in the gradle.xml first i written some println statement so next i configured one task inside that i am not configured any do last do first so just i given one println then next i written one more task here called test then next we created test both is there so it will be containing what do first do last and some println related statements now here the order now the main reason why i want to show this kind of thing means the order what it is going to get executed that is the main kind of thing here i want to see means here this is not related to any task this is related to the task so and also this is related to task but it is related to some life cycle so post processing kind of thing this is the post processing and pre processing and also some task now now go on to see that execution related what is the order we are going to have here now what is that task sorry grad first i want to list out that task okay yes i want to list out the task yes task hyphen hyphen all so these are the list of task what it is showing it is going to show configured test and test both but it is not showing this print align because this print align is not belongs to any task so there is no task at all here so it is going to displaying this one what task now whenever i want to run this task what is the task name here i want to run the task related what is the task name called now i want to ta run the task called configured yes i want to go with configured yes i am giving configured so whenever i am trying to run this configure but see here there is a strange kind of output what it is came what is that see clearly observed what is that a task which containing only one statement what is that this is also executed during the configuration phase okay this is also executed this is also executed during the configuration phase yes it is okay executed but if you see here above this is not belongs to any task so the priority it is going to giving for what root so this is executing during the configuration phase okay this is done and also next what it is executed this is also executed okay so second one inside that whatever the things is there and also this is executing during the configuration phase as well now see here where it is written inside the task means if you write whatever the task if you write any if you write any task which containing the block of code related to the do first and do last means that is particularly for that task if you write outside of what whatever this do first or do last related things it is going to run for every task now see here i am running this configured task means i run only one configure task but if you see here what are the things it is executed so it is executed this first print align statement and also it is executed this statement then it is going to followed with what statement so this is going to followed with what this statement also now i will go with what uh, i will go with what test so see this what is that i will go with the test one of the here now see here what is that first three statements default statement is executed and also this test containing one life cycle method what post processing that's why it is executing what uh, this one 
this print ln this executing during the execution phase yes it is also specified what execution phase now you observe that one or not these are the things whatever you are going to run at what phases configuration means whenever it is going for configuration it is scanning and executing all the things in a default manner the same things you can able to run that and check that what is that test both so you can execute this one also then you can able to get what now see this three configurations already then and it is containing life cycle method so it is executing that do first and do last related so it is also executing or not now see here so whenever you are going to write any piece of code outside of whatever this life cycle or outside of the task the execution order how it will be executed that is the example main reason i want to demonstrate in this build file okay so i hope this you are going to get like most of the time the people get confusing like execution order that's why i given the more clear clarity in this build related thing so then just then next i will going to follow with what one more type how to configure this one with respect to order now i will go with what three different types of task and going with uh, showing in another like uh, see here this is what the example already we did with uh, depends on and but again i am going to show what uh, like multi level kind of dependency multi level dependency means what just i configure a task a it's contain do last and do first then what again i created one more task of what depends on like earlier we disc we configured what we configured like you can decide like this one also what we can do b dot what you did what you depends on and you can give what the information like this what is that a so you can do like this or also you can able to go with this means within the dependency how to within the task how to write the dependency it is outside of the task how to define the dependency so this is also the like similar kind of thing now see here now first b is depend upon a so do last method okay so this is also executed next what we are saying task c we are writing and it is telling depend upon a okay so it will go to the a so a is individual okay so again it will go to the executed then it will going to executed of this one so we can see this output and we can uh, see what is that so what is that gradle okay now what i am trying to say i want to execute the c okay so when you go with c see what is that first it is executed a because first whenever it is going to execute c it is seeing a okay so a containing what this one so a related first do method so first printing next it is going to say so this is the life cycle x executed next went for b okay but if you see here when you go with b it is again depend upon a but it will not go for again execution of a because of what here is i already mentioned clearly whenever one task is already executed it will make it will going to make as an history so what are the task is already completed execution so if even though you are telling like b and it is going with a it will not go and execute the again task of a because already a is executed so it is executing the task whatever the a okay a then last it is going to execute its own task called what c so now you understand or not even though we have anything like dependency we are going to get with circular kind of dependency also so don't bother about this kind of problem because already once executed it will be not going to encounter with this kind of thing we can go with individual kind of run so that is also one kind of good beneficiary what we are going to get from what like avoiding circular kind of dependency this headache is also eliminated by what gradle itself so we can take this is also one of the best advantages comes from the gradle next uh we have what um, so according to this ppt what we discussed just we can go and glance once then we can able to see that uh what are that yes so this is what the like task and we executed do first and do last depends on and run specific related task multiple related task also and how to show the different types of task is available yes we discussed it okay so we need to discuss now default task so going with the default task what we need to be understand here we need to tell the default related task now default task one is left over and exclusion of the task okay if there is a dependency how to exclude the task yes this is also next how to create the dynamic task so just we can go with what this one first what we can do now what i will do i will going to remove this dependency now so to, to show that what we will give have now i can go with what exclusion kind of thing okay now 
what we did so what is this gradle what is that b so it will execute a and b okay now what i want to do even though i configured dependency but i don't want to run the a so what is an option we have here so we have one option here clearly what we have see just go and see that one what is that yeah exclude exclude so what we need to give we need to give we need to give first one gradle command and we need to tell the name and which one you want to exclude okay so clearly here we have iphone x and we need to tell what i need to exclude a so what is it is selling so here what is the problem we are getting here ha huh. what is the problem okay so we can take the same example and we can just run that okay so we can see that uh, what is that now the same thing what we did here we are using this task related okay so what is the command here we are using this okay so we are going to use this gradle and we are going to use the clean so we are using this one okay okay so it is showing some deprecation kind of thing it's not a pro any major kind of thing but if you see this uh, what i can do i can go for quit also it's better we can get more clarity so just to clean that then we can see now see here i am a test task i am build i am build depend upon test now what it is clearly saying i am test task okay i am test task i am build depend upon test okay it is also clear but now what is a thing here you need to be understand here it is not executed i am clean task because you are giving in the run time you are telling that i want to exclude this task so that's why if you are not giving this exclude task what is that behavior the behavior is i am clean first i am a clean task i am a test test related task i am a build depend upon test see the three things it is will be executed now i am going to tell what excluding that's why it is going to suppressing means it is not executing that one so this is what excluding whatever the task from your dependency even though we have the dependency also we can able to eliminate that whatever the problem so this is what when uh, here and we have what default related task so default related task what we have now default related task okay so okay we can go with the default related task default related task how to configure default task here now what we can do now i can go with this one then so here what we have the syntax the syntax the same things what you need to follow so you can give the name in the here so what uh, ah here just i will write welcome so these are the generally we are going to give the welcome related task so okay now fine so first i want to verify that what is the task which is going to happen gradle uh, what is that uh, we need to display all the task so task hyphen hyphen all okay so this is what welcome task we have there is no description that's why it is showing simple task here so what i can do now see this one uh, gradle welcome so whenever if i give the gradle welcome it is displaying i am a clean task okay but if you see this one next what i will give i will give only gradle now even though i am giving only the gradle command but still if you see here it is going to executed i am a clean task how is it is just showing the deprecation error don't consider this one anything here just you can see this now uh, okay cls if you want to avoid that one you can change to do last there so there is no problem there so see that first so whenever i given only gradle so 
I am not displaying, I am not going to telling anything with the name of task, but still it is going to displaying this, I am a clean task. How it is displaying means we are telling that one default task list. So I am going to specify that the welcome is the task. If you are unable to give that task name in my whatever the command prompt, that time you can scan for the default task what it is available, then you can able to take that one and you can able to use for that default execution order. So that is what the main usage of the task related things we are going to give. So this is what we are going to have means this is default related task. You can go for number of task related configurations here like that. You can add number of tasks also here. So we can give welcome and welcome one also there. So here the syntax already clearly stated. So what is that? You can give what? One and you can able to go with what? Welcome one and uh, now I can give what? Welcome related one. Yes, save that. Go and run that. So it is clearly saying like we we are not changed anything this so two times it is executing now so it is executing two times so one and two all the clearly saying so these are the two default tasks which is going to execute most of the times we can go for welcome banners or we need to display any date before running that one you want to tell any instruction that time it is useful for going with what default related task so this is what default related task now let us move with what dynamic related task so dynamic related task it is like just it is interesting kind of thing. Uh, what is that uh, execution related thing? Yes, this one, what? Uh, yes, dynamic related. So for that, what I can do, I can take the same kind of whatever the thing into consideration. Just we can go and see that. So just I'm going to remove this and I'm going to adding this one. Just let us, let us first, we can run that and explain that what is the inner going to happening. Now, what is that? This one. Gradle task hyphen hyphen all. Now, see here what happened? Just I given the command called Gradle task hyphen all to display all the whatever the task which is available there. Then, now if you see here the other task watch is available, it is going to clearly display task 0, 1, 2, 3. But if you see in this piece of code, is there anything like 0 1 2 3 4 0 1 2 3 like that but how it is coming this is what called a dynamic task whenever we are going to executing like this is not related to any any piece of task means we are not written this code in any in, in any task related that's why it is going to run at the configuration time it is going to run this one so you are clearly telling four times like you want to, like just like it is kind of a loop kind of thing your the counter is nothing but what it is a what we can say it is a variable which is going to store index number 0 1 2 3 like that it should be terminated up to 4 so task and it is going to task and it is giving a counter variable so it is dynamically appending that's why we are giving dollar so you can use i also here for clarity like we are you are habituated what this one so 0 1 2 3 like that it is going to executing here so automatically it is going to comes with what i am task with this one so this one so now if you see here task 0, 1, 2, 3, whatever it is going to get displayed means four tasks it is dynamically means if you want to run if you want to create any task dynamically means it is also get set up but this is called what groovy kind of code you should be little aware about this groovy kind of code means then you can able to so this is the task whatever it is going to get creating this is the task command and it is dynamically giving this is a static and it is dynamically coming so 1, 2, 3 like that it is displaying now I want to run the specific kind of task how normal only what is that task and we have the zero yes i can execute how it is displaying task zero i am task zero how it is displaying means see here whenever it is going to creating the first time task how it is happening means it will be created task zero and it is displaying i am a task number of what i am a task number of what one so that's why it is going to giving zero so again if i go with one so automatically it will be displayed what this one so like that it is going to display so this is a one very one of the good kind of feature which is not available in the maven and in the gradle so once that is all all our kind of static kind of task we can say it is a dynamic kind of task it is also one of the most useful kind of task at the runtime to uh, depend upon such situation you want to develop means it is also one good kind of facility what we can able to get so now whatever the things whatever uh, like we discussed in this ppt i think almost all all things things is get covered here 
so this uh, custom related task do first and do last another way run okay yes running multiple related task show all the task related how to configure default excluding of whatever the task and also given here clearly and how to create the dynamic related task and how to run that one hope i think you are going to get all this kind of uh, whatever the gradle related stuff with more understanding manner so uh, next we can able to proceed with different kind of uh, what uh, related to java related perspective with this kind of gradle so thank you very much <coughs> hope you have understood keep watching our videos keep learning